Hi, we're here today. It's been a week since your surgery and we're asking you permission to videotape you and use it. That's Dr. Rollage and CLOS. Do we have your permission? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, cut and start. Hi, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, we'll cut that again. Okay, sorry Dr. Rollage. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, we're here today. It's been one week since your surgery. Can you please tell us your first name and we'll ask you a few questions. Um, my name is Jim and uh, fire away. Okay. Hey Jim, um, what was your beginning weight and what is your weight today? Uh, beginning weight was 336 when a morning of surgery and now I'm at 321. 336? 336 to 321. So 25 pounds and... 15. 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, where's my math? In one week, that's wonderful. Fifteen in one week, yeah. I was, I was shocked. Uh, I couldn't believe it uh, when I got on the scale there. But it, um, uh, the other people, the other litter mates um, said like, "Yeah, you look like you've lost a lot of weight." And I'm like, I, "It's just hard to believe. It's just, it's crazy." I was just it. testing your math skills. <laughs> <laughs> now, since you brought that up, litter mate, a uh, litter mate is uh, patients that have had surgery the same day or week that you right. had. In case anyone's wondering. So, Jim, let me ask you this. How was your experience with your surgery? How did um, it go? It was, it was great. It was, it was quick. I mean, it was, I think the total surgery time was 45 minutes that was there, and the recovery was great. The staff here and the nurses were awesome. Um, On a scale of one to five? Oh, it's their five. Five? Oh, wonderful. Good. Um, they did real well. Um, we felt good leaving out of here when we did the next day. Um, it How just, was your recovery? When you woke up out of, uh, you were back in your room, mm -hmm. and how soon after you were back in your room did you get up and walk the halls? Uh, it was probably four or five hours, I, I'm guessing. You see, you were kind of groggy a little bit during that time, too, but getting up and moving wasn't a problem. So uh, the anesthesia wore off quickly? Uh, it seemed to. I mean, it was, it, the surgery short, so I wouldn't expect to be a whole lot anyway, but... Um, but yeah, it was wear off pretty quick. And how soon bef uh, after your surgery were you eating and drinking? Um, it was, I remember in recovery having ice and water uh, right, almost seemed like immediately um, type of thing. And the food they give you for yogurt and things like that to eat, uh, that was and that soup. same day. So. Now, how's your energy level since your surgery? Um, the first couple days, I was a little tired. I think I was a little salt deficient. That was there, and dehydrated. I and I was dehydrated. Um, since just sipping the Gatorade and taking salt, I feel a lot better. My energy level has gone way up. So and, uh, let's recap that for everybody that knows. How important is it for you to keep drinking and keep your sodium intake up? Oh, it's it's very important, um, especially here in in Vegas where it's you know. You We're walk hot outside and it's, it's very hot. Um, uh, but keeping that and the thing I didn't realize when I, before the surgery, have is like when you do it, the sipping is what you have to. And you, you think you're taking in, you know, used to be able to drink water in gulps or various Gatorade in gulps. Now you got to take that same thing and take it with a, like an eyedropper. Uh, type of approach and keep doing that to keep yourself hydrated. That's not so. forever. That's just, you know, in the beginning. It will get right. better. As time goes by, you can, you know, you still never want to gulp, but, you know, you'll be able to just drink like you normally should be. Right. So now, um, how are, how's food going down? You're eating yogurt and soup and crackers, and how's that for you? Um, it's fine. I, the, the big thing for me was the appetite. Explain. But, um, what? I'm not very you, you hungry. Have, okay, there you go. You have no appetite. <laughs> I have no mean. appetite. Um, okay, so you're just not hungry? but I'm just not hungry, um, and that's, that's just really weird. Because you, you eat feel a lot. like you should be eating something because you figure, oh, I'm, I might feel ill later if I don't eat something or or this or that, and 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 you don't need to, and it's just, it's just been great. I So... So you rate Dr. Rutledge on a scale of one to five? I rate him a five. Five. So he was pretty attentive? Yeah, he was great. Um, I was able to call him. Um, he answered after, all your questions? Answered questions. Even emailing, he was pretty quick to respond. Um, 
with things. I was in daily contact with them for um, testing blood sugars and high blood pressure, both which... So you were on medication said. before surgery. What, yes. How many medications or what were you on medication for? Um, I was on five different meds, uh, one for uh, type 2 diabetes. Um, and are you taking that now? No. And have, have you been a, testing your blood sugars? Mm-hmm, on a daily basis. And they are? Uh, the latest one this morning was 132. On no medications? On no medications. And that's drinking, drinking Gatorade. Drinking straight Gatorade, the sugary that's amazing. and juice. And, one week after uh, surgery. One week after surgery. And now what about your blood pressure? Blood pressure, I'm still taking um, metoprolol, uh, which is, was that, is that the beta blocker, I believe? And it, they're right now they're around 140 over 90, and they keep going down. Each day, I see small incremental steps downward. Have so, you reduced your medi- your blood pressure medication? Mm-hmm. I'm taking, I was taking three different medications before, and now I'm taking one and only half as much as so, what I was, and still and getting the same result. So it's been seven days since your surgery, and you're off all your diabetic medications, and your blood sugars are pretty much normal. Little bit slightly high, and your blood pressure is reduced a lot, and you're on one versus three mm-hmm. blood pressure medications, and only and half you're, of and you're down one. 15 pounds. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So, and your energy's up, and you're able to walk around easier. And yeah, I've I've had um, about 20 years ago. I had ACL reconstruction on my knee, and my knee hasn't hurt uh, since the surgery either. So I. That's amazing. I don't know if it's just the endorphins or whatever. So you're all around feeling. How do you feel all around? I, I feel great. Uh, mm-hmm. It's you're, it's the adjustment of everything um, that that you need to get around. But other than that, I feel good. I'm getting around pretty good. i got to you know, still watch myself with the, make sure I'm getting plenty of fluids right now. But So was doing you know. the packet worth it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you it's, feel educated? Yes. It, and I, I think it's a great thing because it really it forces you into reviewing it and learning it and through that. And I so you'd like to tell everyone that's how valuable it is. Uh, it's very valuable. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.